more pressure, more focus versus more pressure, more fear. So <clears throat> bear with me on this. There's an archery competition where they have metal targets with a hole about that big and through the hole is a target, a piece of foam that catches the arrow. And every time you miss the target, you explode a $30 arrow. These are competitions. And some of the, the, the targets are, you know, they're not close. And so what happens is it's a very good test. Um, either there's a either there's an archery guy, he actually puts his target on top of his truck. He's got like an $80,000 truck. And he does that and it's, it's pressure. He's like, if I miss, I put a hole in my truck and I explode the back window, there's a thousand bucks. See, these are pressure. So pressure isn't bad. Pressure is good. If when I see that metal target, if I focus on what I don't want, which is to explode a hole into that metal, uh, explode my arrow into that metal target, <clears throat> I'm probably going to do that. I have to learn to ignore that. So here's a piece of metal that's going to ruin my $30 arrow. Here's the foam. I got to hyper focus on what I want and block out what you don't want, right? The low focus, the definition of focus is block out the unnecessary. I have to block out the unnecessary. So big pressure here. If it's all foam and there's a big, you know, straw back target, hell, you can miss the whole damn target and you're fine. There's no pressure there. There's pressure when you're shooting a $30 arrow through the woods. 42 yards and you got to get it through a hole that big and if you miss you explode a $30 arrow more more fear You're going to not do so well more focus more pressure more focus not more pressure more fear You get to a big tournament. You have a very tough opponent Okay More pressure more focus not more pressure more fear. Oh, I got a I got a good opponent. I start getting scared. Oh, what if I what if I hit the hit the metal and explode a thirty dollar arrow? No. More pressure. The higher level of scariness, the higher level of focus I lock in. Okay, so we we put ourselves in these pressure situations sometimes in contests, and we see who can take it and who can't. And the ability to take the more pressure, more focus approach, that's who's going to win. And you learn that, let's say you do explode an arrow into the target. You learn to say, hmm, okay, not a problem. No big emotional reaction. I don't plan on that happening again. I have faith that I'm gonna follow through and calm down and focus and execute it's not a problem you don't you don't get in these emotional roller coaster rides um, because that's what that's what non-successful people do okay so next time you're in a high pressure situation you're going to repeat this phrase more pressure more focus more pressure more focus and you assume victory I'm assuming that this is going to work out for me, okay? I'm assuming it's going to work out. There was a good post on social media. This uh, young lady wrestler posted, it said, you can either have faith or you can have control. You can't have both. You have to focus on your focus. Focus on your execution. Focus on being calm, cool, and collected and scoring points. And you have to have faith that it's gonna work out. And if something goes awry, maybe you got reversed, okay, well, come back to the middle, no big deal, that's not a problem. Talk yourself through it, pick down, get away, good. Now I'm gonna get two. I'm getting, I'm, I'm scoring again. So I'm always focusing on the next task. It's called having a task-minded approach, a task brain. The body and emotions work together when we just focus on what's next. We only focused on what's next. That's it. So more, more, be our more pressure, more focus. I want you guys to study that. Check us out, perlerwrestling.com. We would love to have you. Good luck.